Hey everybody, I'm Logan from Guys Playing Games, and I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorites, The Resistance. Uh, we're going to go over the rules and some basic strategy stuff if we can get to it. So the teams are going to be divided into two main groups, the spies and the resistance members. Uh, depending on how many people you have, the number of spies is going to change. In this example, this is a five player game, there are two spies and three resistance. You want to keep your identity a secret because, especially for the spies, you need to trick everybody else that you are a resistance member working for the good of the team. Every, you're going to have five cards, everybody gets to draw one. Here's an example of what a spy looks like, and here's a, a blue resistance member. Okay? And each round, there's going to be a team leader who uses this token right there. They're going to choose the people that are going to participate in each one of these missions. Uh, the whole, every game card has five missions, but the number of people that play in each mission is going to change. The very first one in a five-player game only has two people. And so the team leader, if they're a resistance member, wants to try and put resistance people only on that mission to guarantee that it succeeds. Now, everyone is going to get a chance to vote on the people going on a mission. And they do it using these two cards right here. An approve and a reject. So if I'm the, the resistance leader, I'm going to pick two people, I'm going to say here, I'm going to give these two nice looking guns to them, and they're going to go on a secret mission. Then everybody in the game takes their approve and reject tiles, takes one and places it face down, and then when everybody reveals together, arguments usually ensue. You're going to have to justify why you do or don't want specific people to go on the mission. If the mission is approved, the game will proceed. But, if it's rejected, the team leader card is going to move to the next person. And that person decides on a new team, which is then voted upon, etc, etc. The trick is, if five of these teams are rejected in a row, then it's, this little token will move along the game card, and if it gets to five, the bad guys will automatically win that mission. This token right here is a way of indicating who won that mission. The blue for resistance, red for the spies. You can kind of get the theme. Um, now, back to if the mission proceeds. The people that go on a mission are going to be given two cards. A fail and a succeed card. The spies are the only ones that really have any choice here. Resistance members have to put in a succeed card. A resistance member is never able to purposely fail the mission to try and you know do something. They and that's really counterproductive. Really, it's it's so hard to keep missions from or from failing. You'd never want to do that. But spies, they get a little bit more ch uh, of options to choose from, and they can either fail it, and a single fail card is going to fail the mission. Or if they want to try and stay undercover for longer in the game, they might put in a succeed to, to pass themselves off as a resistance. Um, since there's five missions in each game, the first team that has three wins is going to win the entire game. Afterward, everybody reveals who they were, and you know the smearing and hating begins. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of what the game's like, and you can understand the rules a little bit more easily. It's a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it as a great party game, especially because you can play with up to 10 people, and sometimes that's hard to find in good party games. Uh, it's really cheap on Amazon. We highly recommend it. Hopefully we'll be able to do in a video uh, of an actual game later on. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one, everybody.